Millie and Molly liked visiting Alf and his nan at the caravan that was their home. Oh, your turn, Molly. Alf's nan taught them games from the country she used to live in. And there was always something delicious for afternoon tea. Yay! You win, Molly. Pack up horseshoe game now. We have the afternoon tea. What's for afternoon tea? Is it those little pancakes? The ones with wild blackberry jam? You and Nan make? Yes! <laughs> Where did you get all these horseshoes out? My nun made them. In the old country, I look after the horses. My lovely Nan rode horses, made their horseshoes and cured them when they were sick. You must know everything about horses, Alf's Nan. I know I love the horses. Can you get the last horseshoe, Millie? Sure. Puddles! <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Puddles got up to a different kind of mischief out at Farmer Hegarty's farm. <laughs> what on earth? Huh, who's this then? Where did you come from? Goodness, Pepper. Got the sniffles, have you, my girl? <laughs> As for you, Mr. Dog, better take you to the police station. See if we can find your owner. After school, Millie and Molly were going back to Elf's caravan to play horseshoes again. And to say thank you, I remembered my Puddles? <laughs> sure, Dog Elf. His name is Puddles. Well, I was just about to report Puddles as a lost dog to the policeman. He was way out at my place. Wow, your farm's miles out of town. By the way, Elf, why is he called Puddles? He is a stray dog and... <laughs> it's all right. I think I know now. When Millie, Molly and Alf reached Nan's caravan, huh? they were in for a nasty surprise. Nan, what are you doing? Caravan park is sold. Sold? <gasps> they bid lots of houses here. We must go. Go? Away? When? Tomorrow. Oh! I do not tell you, Alf. I hope to find a way to stay, but no. So we must go. Where are we going? We take caravan to another town. <gasps> no, no! Another town! <laughs> Millie and Molly decided they had to find somewhere for Alf and Nan's caravan in their town, so they wouldn't have to move away. I'm sorry, Millie, but we can't fit a caravan into our yard. It's just not big enough for two families. So we're really sad that Alf has to move away Typical. And... Friends always let you down. That's why I don't get too attached. Now, a bunch of crisp carrots or a big, firm cabbage never lets you down. But Aunt Maud, what about your friend Biddy Bid? You'd be sad if she had to move away. Fiddlesticks! Well, maybe. So would there be room in your beautiful, big garden for one tiny little caravan? Of course not. I need every single inch of my garden for fruit, vegetables and flowers. How else can I stay the best gardener in the whole town? Tie your end of the clothesline, tie. I will. I don't know why we didn't think of the park before, Millie. I just can't wait to tell Alf and Nan they don't have to leave town. Millie, Molly, what's all this? Isn't it great? Now Nan and Alf won't have to move away. They can park their caravan right here. But they can't. I'm sorry, but it's against the law. Against the law? Private caravans can only be used in special parks or on large areas of private land, not public parks like this. But there isn't any land like that in our town. No, I know. Nan's already been to see me, and we couldn't find anywhere. That means Alf and Nan will have to leave town tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, girls. The following day, Millie and Molly came to say goodbye to Alf and Nan. Hi, Alf. What you got there? Old horseshoes. Good luck charms. 
from Nun and me. Thanks, Alf. You girls, good friends to my Alf. I just wish we could have found a way for you to stay. Better hit the road soon, Nan. Got to come back and get me own caravan. All right, you two monsters. I brought you a couple of juicy apples. <gasps> huh? <coughs> Apple. Pepper, what's wrong? My poor Pepper, you feel hot and your nose is running. I think you've got a fever. I'll go and get the vet, Pepper. I'll be as quick as I can. If only we could have done something. I'm going to miss it. Sorry, girls, but could you hurry? Pepper's sick. Vet's out on another emergency. Got to get back to the poor old girl. Poor Peppa! We know someone who can look after a sick horse. <laughs> she has sickness in chest. The cold night was closing in by the time Nan reached Peppa's side. What can we do? Make her warm. Too cold. She get more sick. Right. Millie, Molly, Elf, I need your help. We need to build a windbreak. Find some blankets and build a fire. There'll be the makings in the barn. This'll keep you warm, Pepper. Phew! That stinks! What is it? Medicine for horse. Vinegar, herbs. Millie, Molly, are you going to be all right riding your bikes home in the dark? But we can't go now. We'll just worry about Pepper all night. All right. How about I ring home for you both? See if you can camp the night in the barn. Nan and Elf can stay with you. OK, thanks, Farmer Hegley. Elf can, but not me. I stay with Pepper. I will, too. I'll be right by your side, girl. <coughs> Look! Salt's looking after Pepper, too. Peppa really trusts you, Nan. She beautiful horse. Beautiful horse. Beautiful horse. Do you think... Do you think she'll make it through the night, Nan? I don't know. She very sick horse. <gasps> <coughs> Molly, sleep time. Go now. Poor Peppa. Will she be all right? If anyone can make her better, my lovely Nan can. But it's such a cold night. And Nan said if Peppa got too cold, she would get sicker. <laughs> Welcome to visit Pepper and Salt any time you like. You can teach Elf to horse ride now. No, we go away today. Where? Why are you? The caravan park was sold. Nan and Elf have to move a long way away. Oh, unless Farmer Higgity. Unless what, Millie? <laughs> Farmer Higgity had plenty of room for Elf and Nan's caravan. And even though he lived so far out of town, Alf was going to learn to ride Peppa to school. Hey! This means we're going to see Peppa every day at school! Yay! 
and other people were helping to make sure that Alf and his nan would be very comfortable in their new home. There's a new home for Puddles too. Uh, by the way, why is he called Puddles? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Think I can guess. The policeman helped with the clothesline and Aunt Maud and Biddy Bid planted a vegetable garden just for Nan and Alf. Biddy Bid, don't plant the basil over there. It's got to go here by the tomatoes. Keeps the caterpillars away. Fiddle and fiddle. And everyone enjoyed an afternoon tea of Alf and Nan's speciality. Um, thank you.